we're good, but we don't do miracles. <laughs> <laughs> You're not learning from an expert here, guys. Merely a novice. So take everything I say with uh, half a handful of salt. That rubber stopper thingy. What's the stopper at the bottom of the rear shock called? Bumper stopper is cracked really badly. Anyways, I don't have time to change it though, so it'll have to do for the weekend. It's just to tuck this. Take this switch off. I don't know what it is, but it's connected to the carburetor. So this is like an extra filter for it. So I've got it on with a cable tie. I'm just gonna cut that off. Got that off, I need to clean that out. Okay. Oh no, where's your screw? Oh, there it is, Neil. Take, carby off the motor. Loosen this clamp. Oh shit. Oh no. Get the magnet. Ha, huh. I should have videoed that. That was painful. Rock this hole up. Okay, let's have a go at this carburetor. Let's go. Let's take the float ball off first. Uh -huh. Well, that gasket looks pretty good. You're joking. This whole time. It's got a stock jet in it. You can't see it, but that says 140. This whole time I've been thinking it's a it's a bigger jet because it's using more fuel. I think it's just that airbox. It must be the air fuel screw that needs a bit of tampering with. The main jet in there is a pilot jet. And that's a float ball. Looks pretty good still. I better get Vince's opinion on this situation. Okay, let's get the slide off. using too much fuel it's got that needle in mm -hmm. oh, I get you now. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. hole in the airbox. So yeah. that's probably could be the that main could reason. Be one of the reasons or main reason why she's using a lot of fuel. And this needle as well, maybe not. Because it doesn't I don't know how that needle is compared to the standard. Not sure. Oh, okay. Mm. So block this second hole up. Yeah. Change the needle back to stock. Mm -hmm. And new airbox. Mm -hmm. And should be good. And put a pilot, bigger pilot jet in. The 45 instead of yeah. the 42.5. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. You know, my friend, I have a 45 pilot for you, my friend. <laughs> quickly, take it to your back now. You go to your back quickly, 45. <laughs> here we go. There's the upgraded pilot jet from the South African Dave over here. From Johannesburg, my friend. <laughs> there we go, I love it, I love it. Woo, the rain has stopped. There's this extra hole drilled in the slide here. I need to block it up. You can use some glue. Thing is, glue takes about five hours to dry. It's pretty wet today. So I'm thinking just to get a new slide. Because I'm gonna have to get one anyway eventually. And replace this. Let's go see how much a new slide costs. Let's get halfway around Australia. And yep. it'll say, Phew, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> yeah, and it'll just stop. <laughs> that's, the, that's the reason I came here, mate. After... We, we, we're good, but we don't do miracles. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, have a gander at this float bolt. It's pretty dirty inside there. Change the subject, really. <laughs> Get this gasket off. We've got a new one. We'll chuck it on. Let's clean that up. <clears throat> I think that's as clean as I'm gonna get it. Put in a 45 pilot jet. The stock pilot jet is 
42.5 and the 45 will just make it start a bit better. Remember the pilot is supplying fuel to the motor when the bike is idling. So under 3000 revs as far as I know. If I can get it out. Struggling. Whoa. Come on. The Patrick pulled out the float bowl. That float bowl's still good, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Don't stuff it up or you'll bug your car. Um, Tone just had it out before, so I think this is just me. You wanna give it a go? So if I stuff it, it's me. It's under. Are oh, you numpty, Neil? So it's probably undone the whole time. It's I'm undone just been... all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you just got to tip it upside down I'm now. A, I'm a thinker, eh? <laughs> 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 what are you, what are you That's why I came here, mate. That out. I'm going to take the main jet out as well. And this air fuel screw. Let's take that out so I can clean this carby. Where's my air fuel mixture screw? Let's take this main jet out. Take your screws off. Hey, let's give this a clean. Clean and nice and good, mate. I was thinking to okay. use this slide in yeah, my yeah, diaphragm. Yeah, I can just swap them out. You reckon? Yeah. Okay. It's Jeez. got no fringe, you can pull it off. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they stretch pretty good. Oh, okay, they don't break easy. Yeah. I've cleaned this up good, taken all the screws out. Yeah. Is that clean enough, you reckon? Or yeah. should I have yeah, another yeah. go at it? Okay. Excuse there's an air corrector jet in there too that you can actually pull out and make sure there's nothing problem there. But the thing's been running okay, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's been running fine. Yes. Was there a spring on here? Yeah, it's in there. In there. Yep. Yeah. So did, did, could you get it out? Yeah, there you go. There's actually, I think, a little washer in there too. You go to blow that and they fly out, and the next thing they're gone. Oh, the washers should be in there as well? Yeah, yeah, there be, should be a little washer in there, I think. There. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's two washers. Ah, oh, wash it. One's an O-ring. Oh, okay. Now you can blow it out properly. And there's an O-ring on top of there too. That yeah. Can't see there. Oh, it wasn't there. Can't see it. Oh, that might, that'll make it run funny as well, eh? Yeah. It's very stiff. Yeah, that it is. That would be leaking. That's terrible. Replace that. That's super hard. Oh, okay. Yeah. So get that off. Get rid of it and put a new block up on on the hose. Bend it over just like that. Yep. Because you can pull it right near the top. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right near the top. It can be just kinked over. Let's see if we can find uh, an O-ring to go in here. Oh yeah, it looks like there hasn't been one, eh? Yeah, there hasn't been one. Yeah. Really yeah, in that spot there. Okay. They run a bit ordinary. Now see the difference here? This one has no holes, and this one has holes. Yeah, oh, okay. But that don't matter, because for the one with holes to work in a different carburetor, it has matching holes, but because this is designed to work with this, it doesn't have any matching holes. So that doesn't matter that oh, you've got okay. holes in there. So that's quite okay. Okay. It is a different series pilot jet, but it works exactly the same. Okay. In this carbon. Let's go to Vince's bench. I'm gonna put one there now. Let's clean that out a bit. So you're putting that ring on the middle one? Yeah. Sometimes you lose it, sometimes it, it. You know what it is? It's a Jesus clip. It's all good, but when you lose it, Jesus is hard to find. <laughs> Bit bent, eh? Yeah. I don't think, don't think it's an issue. I've seen the clips come off, not on a 650. And uh, anyway, um, the needle drops down and it doesn't run so good. Box the hole constantly. Yeah, yeah. If they get cracks in them, especially this one here, then they leak uh, dribble, they leak fuel. Good. <laughs> because the computers are down. Yeah, I just get the book out here and away we go, we're good. <laughs> That's yeah. a good way. <laughs> um, uh, whatever the oh yeah, it goes on. underneath. Yeah, it goes underneath the needle. Yeah. I don't know why it's so tight. Almost there. Uh, I'm an air fuel screw with a stock jet. 
How many turns up do you do? Yeah, I reckon we go about one and a half to start. That's a new one, aren't you? Brand new, yep. That's warm? Uh, it's just a bit burnt up where some, some butcher has been hacking. I think that know. was me. Oh, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, sometimes they're put in too tight. Too mm. I think I was using too small of a screwdriver yeah. to begin with. Thanks for that new jet, Trenton. Even though it's new, you still need to check to make sure there's nothing in it. Those don't go in tight, just firm. No, the, the, yeah, just just nipped up. That's the point of jet. I reckon that O-ring's meant to be that one. He's put him in, he, I don't what? know why. Is there not meant to be an O-ring there? Well, it doesn't go in far enough. It just seats. See that taper? Seats and it shuts the fuel supply off. So this could be why it's using more fuel as well? No. No. I don't think so, no. Right. You're just looking for things, aren't yep. you? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> as you said, it wasn't that heavy. It was a little bit heavy. Yeah, what, what sort of fuel consumption was it doing? With a stock tank, I was getting 172. Out of the stock tank? Yeah. Dry? Yes. This should do about 220 to 240. Yeah. So you're using a fair bit more. You want? Put oh. the other bit back to get in there. Needle goes in there, and then the spring. Make sure the needle gets in the right spot here. Oh, there we go. We've done this yeah. before. Get this. Get that all sitting in there, okay? Sometimes these can get warped too. Yeah, I think it's okay. You could block that off here. That you know this this hole. Oh, okay. But you you know you may need to put a. So you could probably you could pinch this. For that matter, I think. Yeah. But what we normally do is just put the tube on there and, and block it. Short yeah. tube and just. Think we left any out? <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out if it starts, eh? So it's come out of it. Hey, there's the old one. Oh, cocksuities. Moment of truth. Let's put the collie back. As you can see, I've taken off the old pipe because it was too stiff. We put up another one to block this vacuum part of the cob. Now, which way does it go? Let's wonder. It is... It's that way. It is that way. Yes. It's rocket science, eh? <laughs> One day. Cheese home, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's right. Let's see, let's get the throttle cables on. Remember, guys, I'm not a professional. I'm merely a novice, even though I might look like one sometimes. Well, that comes around and got him. Oh, Hania, man. Bang. Bob is my uncle, your nephew, and possibly everyone's cousin. Hey, how are ya? Hey, how are ya? Now, tighten them up. Uh, no, you're sticking up here. You're gonna fix that. Eventually, but That's it's cruise control. control. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll fix it after this trip. Awful. <laughs> the throttle. Dangerous awful. <laughs> Mate, but now I can give it a go, Dangerous scratch my nose. Awful. Scratch your nose with the other bloody ear. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, I promise. I'll fix it up. After Mount Capital, I'll fix it up. I promise you. <laughs> Just one weekend with, with it left. You know, it gives your hand a break sometimes. <laughs> it gets sore. Cruise control. All the new cars have it. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> you have a proper cruise control on your road bike? Oh, I had no idea bikes even had cruise control. Put this screw back in. So clamp that carby on tight before we chuck the airbox in. You're joking. No. Screw dropped on the engine. What do you do? You get that magnet stick and go fishing. Okay, we're fishing. What have you done? Carby's back on. Can you believe it? Neil did something. Kind of. Look at that sticky throttle. That's what I call unbuckled cruise control. Throttle stays on. Here's one, and it just goes so fast because you can just keep. <laughs> I like to get two handfuls. <laughs> Why? So it doesn't slip as much. Maybe cable tie? Yeah. Oh.
Hmm. right on. You can't take back some things. 